Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the shiny only Fire Mono type run of Fire Red Canto Complete. So, last time I found the Dark Grove and paid a King's Ransom to get access to it. I got the Six Badge and captured Zapdos. Off camera, I did a little more level grinding. Also got some more money. In doing so, I also discovered that the Celadon City Department Store sells Rare Candy, PowerPoint Up, PowerPoint Max on the fifth floor. So, well, that gives a whole new meaning to the term screw the rules, I have money. Anyway, this time, we're pressing onto the Seafoam Islands. Whoops, that wasn't what I meant to use. I thought I had the item finder selected. Uh, let's fix that. Nope. Yeah, if you haven't battled a trainer yet, it'll just show the one exclamation mark telling you, yeah, they're still available to battle. Now you may wonder, well, oh, aren't you really overleveled at this point in the game? Well, I'm not sure. Consider this. The last several gyms and Giovanni had Pokemon in up to like level 54 or so. So, I'm guessing at this rate, Blaine's gonna have Pokemon in probably around level 60, to be honest. Although then again, considering that normally you can fight Blaine pretty much right after you fight Koga if you want, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. There's a lot more swimmers than there are in Vanilla. But of course, the other thing is, uh, well, we're going to be fighting a lot. We're fighting other fire types, and I don't really have a whole lot to counter those with. I mean, let me see. I've got. A couple of Pokemon ground type attacks, but that's basically it. Hmm. Yeah, they've definitely changed the layout of this route, too. Okay, you know what? That's just gonna drive me crazy. Nope. Alright. Come on. Stop wasting my time with Protect. Oh, Flash Fire, right. Alright, let's switch over to, uh... No, what'd you pick up? Berry. Okay, here's confusion. I have a yellow flute, so that's useless. Oh, we're gonna use Earthquake, because, well... I'm immune, so... Yeah. Otherwise, I would knock out my own Pokémon, but it's a Flying-type, so that's not a problem. What's up here? Dead ends. Okay. Knock you out. There you go. Quit it. We're already done. Alright, so, now, we arrive here at the edge of Seafoam Islands. That's actually referenced in the manga. Uh, Misty shows up here, and I believe lets Red borrow a Gyarados?
Yeah, youch, that must have hurt. Anyways, yeah. Now if that's done, we're gonna go inside this cave right here. Now let's see what changed about this place this time. Okay, well of course there's the strike puzzles. What'd you get? Patch of berry. Red flute, so that cures attraction, and like the other flutes, it's reusable. Right, already did that. Back up here. Get this. Sea and Sense. So that has two effects. One, it works like a mystic water, so it boosts your water type attacks, but it also, if you give it to a Meryl, it'll let it lay a uh, to a female Meryl when and have it lay eggs, it'll hatch into Azuril. It's one of several baby Pokemon that you have to get like that. The others are... With the Lax Incense, you can give it to Wobbuffet to get Why Not. The Full Incense, you get the Snorlax to get Munchlax. Frankly, that's way easier to do it that way than the alternative in Gen 4. It's just ridiculous. And, uh, what was the other one? I think it's Lucky Incense. You give it to Mr. Mime and you can get Mime Jr. that way. Oh, and then there's the, I think it's the Rose Incense, which, uh, that's how you get Badoo from Roselia. Another Yellow Flute. How many is that now? It's a lot. Sure. Uh, okay, I'll go down here. this way and push it down and that will block the flow of water on that side there's another boulder I need to get over there I think actually you know what we can go over here and take care of uh, Articuno real quick because the water is still and this time, we're not going to waste any time. Because, as we've established earlier, you can buy Master Balls! They're expensive as fuck, but you can buy them. Anyways, moving on. Over here, we get a Max Repel. And now we blow that down there, and that... ...stops the flow of water. Well, I'm actually... Well, not that, but it does stop the flow of water on the upper floor. Which means you can take this path over here safely. Uh, 
Eh, we don't need that right now. I say right before the counter occurs. No items. And we are through Seafoam Islands. Eh, not really. Okay. Now, we can pop another repel. So you rode your Swablu? <sighs> Poor little thing. Okay, Max Repel. There you go, down you go. This island wasn't there in Vanilla or if it was, it was a lot smaller. Toilet Bird! Okay, I take you out, and you. And we finally made it to Cinnabar Island. We'll this heal up real quick. We shouldn't need you anymore, at least for now. So we're going to swap you. I'll probably put you away. Yep, over there. Oh yeah, I uh got a shiny Gardevoir, among other things. While I was doing my level grinding, I found a few more. So let's see, how much time have I been recording? Let me check. Okay, so almost 13 minutes. Eh, we can go a bit longer. First, let's see what you got over here. Uh, the usual, I guess. Alright, well. Now, for shits and giggles, I mean, there's nothing in here that's really gonna be of any use to me, but we'll see if the trades are any different in here. Ooh, you can get a Beldum that way. Oh yeah, this is where you restore fossils. Better nap for a Houndoom. Sorry, lady, I already have a Houndoom. What's in here? And this is a move tutor. He teaches metronome. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. Uh, dude, I'm afraid I have some bad news. That is way out of date. And you could trade for a Pidgeot. Well, hmm. Yep, so that will revive you. Oh, also a PC over here. So let's go and uh, let him do his thing. Go back over here and talk to this guy again. Well, hmm. I hope he can call you anything else. Praise Lord Helix. Okay, let's move you out of there. That's the storage box for stuff I'm actually using. Now, if that's done, um, you know what? We're gonna go to the Pokemon Mansion real quick. So now we're gonna go over here to the northern side of the island. And actually, we're not gonna use repels in here, because you might find some more fire types. I might want to use. We'll see. Nope, nothing here. Ooh, Haunter. 
You know, I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't put ghost types in vanilla, but then again... Ooh! Well, I already have one of these. Down you go. I'll probably actually beat Blaine before this is over, to be honest. Probably could have just left, you know, helper behind too, but whatever. Okay, now you're up to 62. Let's switch you in. Hyper Potion. Okay, that's done. Now. That's three shiny coughing in here so far. Do you know? No, we don't want to do that yet. Sharp beak to boost your flying type attacks. Okay, now we press that. Ooh, ninja ass. Okay, now we want to go here. This trainer in Gen 1 is absolutely evil. Because he can actually soft lock you, basically. The only way you can leave if he traps you is for you to keep moving around and shuffling around in place until your Pokemon are knocked out, unless you have an item or dig to leave. Another amulet coin. Hm. Already have one of those. Now, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Uh, nope, wrong one. Give me a moment. Slight detour. Another shell bell. Okay. Yeah, it is huge. Back down here. I already beat you. Yep. Alright, now. Okay, now go up here. Nope. And now we drop down this one. Tiny mushroom. And then down here, well, that's just another way out. Ooh, shiny muck. It's... It's green. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we are gonna catch it. Why not? Okay, that was fast. Now what are we gonna call you? Okay, so, yeah, it's kinda hard to understand what that means, but it says elephant's foot. Uh... For those of you who don't know what that is, it is a piece of radioactive debris in the basement of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Some claim it's the most radioactive object in the world. It isn't. The most radioactive object in the world, as far as I'm aware, is actually... Oh, unknown. Well, no. It, the most radioactive object in the world is above it. 
It is a different formation of Corium called, well, rather appropriately, the China Syndrome. Named after a movie about, well, a nuclear meltdown. Ooh, shiny unknown. Fuck it, we'll catch it. And, uh, you are going to be... Well, this is S, if I recall correctly, so you're going to be Sierra. The Phonetic Alphabet. Okay, great. Okay, switch you. Oh, and if you're worrying about those books on the, uh, the tables... Basically, it details the creation of Mewtwo, because this is where Mewtwo was made. Oh, another one. And that's O, so this is gonna be Oscar. I wonder if that's all you can find. Oh, okay. Alright. You're gonna be... November? Ooh, exclamation mark. That's a rare one. It's ideal for a lab, because it used to be one, you idiot! Oh, there's an item in here. Okay. Focus Band. Okay, so that basically gives you a chance to resist a move that would knock you out with one hit point. It's not guaranteed to work. In theory, it can activate even if you're already at one hit point, which is why it's kind of broken. Okay. That's P, I think. Yep. So, that's gonna be Papa. Here. Nope, never mind. Okay, you know what? I actually am going to catch the second one as well. You'll see why when we get out. So, first things first, seek the key, we need this to deal with the plane. And a TM for Blizzard. Anyways, with that done, we can... I thought you learned... I thought I thought you dig. Hmm, never mind. And we are out of here. Back top side. First, go to the Pokemon Center, and we'll check out the PC. It spells spoon. That's the whole joke. You may clap now. I'll be here all week. Anyway, now we can enter, and we're just gonna battle everyone on the way anyway because fuck it. Oh, fuck you! Fuck off. Nope. Nice try, smartass. Hey, you better surrender, bitch. Okay, so what was the question, anyway? 
Yeah, du no duh. No, he's getting him. Wise ass. I don't really- oh, I don't have any healing items. Well, uh, okay. Yeah, that- I'm gonna have to go back for it in every battle. Gotta buy some Hyper Potions, because otherwise that's gonna get really annoying. Okay, so, what was the question, out of curiosity? There's only eight in this league, but there are more than- there's a lot more than that. Oh, fuck off! Please, bullshit. Okay, fine, you know what, be that way. Oh yeah, I had a max potion, forgot about that. Yeah, I do too. But I'm better at it than you are. You don't have to like it, but accept it! What was this question gonna be? Nope! It evolves twice! It has three evolutionary forms. Focus punch. Wow. Just fuck off already. Nope. And a focus band? Really? Okay, be right back. Swapping Magmar onto the team just to keep experience sort of evenly distributed. Uh-huh, sure. What was the question? Uh, no, they are not. At least not in Gen 3. In later generations, there are ways to change that. For example, use Soak to change it to Water-type, then you can use Electric-type moves. Real quick. That is true. Fire is weak against H2O. Fucking nerd. Now here's something a lot of people don't know. Water is actually at its most compact state as a liquid, unlike most forms of matter. For most forms of matter, it's when it's solid. But water actually expands when it's either solid, that is ice, or gas, that is water vapor. And, uh, hmm, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna send you out first. Yeah, never heard of that one before. Oh. Oh. 
Wait, I thought you had Earth. Nope, never mind. It's Blaze again that has Earthquake. My bad. There we go. Oh! I wasn't paying attention. That's Moltres. There we go. Wasn't enough, dude. Looks like I'm the real Fire Master here. That's a TM for Fire Blast. And that's where the common theory that Blaine helped to make Mewtwo came from. Which the manga actually ran with, to the point where not only did Blaine make Mewtwo, but considering that Mewtwo has human genes and Blaine is actually the donor of those genes, that technically makes Blaine Mewtwo's biological father. Oh, oh right, there's this segment too. Sure. And now here we are on one island. There are some errands you can run here before you go take care of, you know, your final gym battle. No, we're just gonna heal real quick. And now we're gonna put... Oh, we can't actually put Pokemon up. We can't do that yet. Uh, well. In any event, I think we've been going on for long enough. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.